Welcome back to the channel, my friends. Warhammer Man Studios. I'm Warhammer Man, and today we're taking a look at the 40k Battle Forces. This video is sponsored by CMO Games. More on that later. Warhammer 40,000 Battle Forces. Six awesome box sets to kickstart your winter season. The festive season always brings some extra special goodies in the form of annual Warhammer 40,000 Army Boxes. These amazing box sets are packed to the brim with miniatures and make brilliant way to start a new project or reinforce your favorite faction. And it's that time of year again. So very exciting. These are always awesome. All right, so here we get our first look and we have Space Marines, Astra Militarum, World Eaters, Orcs, Leagues of Votan, and Tyranids. So two Imperium, one Chaos, and three Xenos. All right, so first we have the Votan, Defenders of the Ancestors. The Leagues of Votan place the defense of their ancestor cores at the highest priority, and nothing but their biggest guns will do when enemies come knocking. A rock hard core of 10 Einherr Hearthguard are led by an Einherr champion as they bundle into a heavily armored Hecaton land fortress, backed up by the wisdom of the Grimnir, living ancestor, while a Sagittar ATV provides mobile fire support. So, very cool. We've got two packs of the Hearthguard, we've got one Einherr champion, and then we've got the Grimnir and his little drones, and then we have the Sagittar transport and the land fortress transport slash battle tank. So, really nice box set right here. A lot of this stuff has been sold out for months in the United States, so it'll be good to be able to get this. Now, this is still going to be a couple months off, but real nice box set right here. And the one thing I like the most probably about this is there's not a ton of redundancy from like the Votan launch box or the start collecting box. And if you haven't seen what we've done in the past for these, we always break down the Christmas boxes and do a combination. Would you want multiples of them? How many points is it? How much money do you save over retail picking it up? Would it be a good place to start an army? Could you combine it with the combat patrols? So definitely some awesome content coming in regards to these boxes as far as savings, as far as building an army and many other things. So real nice box set to get us kicking off here with the Botan. And then next we've got the Beast Snaga Stampede. So very cool. Our orc box set is next. As snow begins to fall and friends gather to exchange gifts, who better to loot an enticing bounty of presents than the Beast Snagas? These green-hued big game hunters are ready to scrap, led by legendary everything killer Mazrog Scragbad, who can be built as a standard beast boss on Squigasaur if you prefer. At the head of three Squighog boys and Nob on Smash or Squig, they're joined by a pain boss medic, a mob of 10 beast snagga boys, who mount up in the psycho strapped kill rig, which can ultimately be built as the hunter rig and psychic warboy on foot, to keep up with the cavalry for a jolly old winter punch up. Okay, so again, a really nice box here. So we've got the big old kill rig, very cool, very strong. We've got Mazrog leading the pack, and then he's got the alternative build as well. And then we got a pack of Squig Hog boys with the Smasher Squig as well. And then we've got our Beast Snagas, 10 of those, and the Pain Boy. So again, a really, really nice box right here. I love the Beast Snagas theme. All right, and then next we have the Cadian Defense Force. So this is our Astra Militarum box right here. Guardsmen with las guns, big rumbling tanks. Is there any more of an Astra Militarum fan could want? The Cadian Defense Force is a classic assemblage of humanity's might, pairing 20 Cadian shock troops and 5 model Cadian command squad with two mighty Rogaldorn battle tanks. Presenting an immovable wall of firepower, it's enough to make the most ambitious Black Crusader think twice. Okay, so I definitely love that there's two tanks in this because that was my main complaint about the combat patrol and also the launch box is that there was no tanks and obviously tanks are their main thing. So I love that there's two Dorns in this box set. And then of course it makes sense to throw in 20 infantry. The command squad is definitely a miss for me. I would have much preferred they just keep their little command squad and then throw in like Lord Solar Leontis or some of the other cool characters. But again, really, really nice box right here. The fact that it has two Dorns in it is a huge success for me. All right, and then we see our Space Marines. So Space Marine Spearhead Force. The fastest fighters among the new Space Marine release have wasted no time in forming a spearhead force. What this box set is bursting with 15 of the new jump pack intercessors led by a captain with jump pack. Such speed needs exceptionally mobile fire support to back it up. So the box also includes a squad of three outriders and an invader ATV to add firepower to their overwhelming assault. Okay, so the invader ATV is pretty poor right now, but he could join the bikes or be separate. The bikes are very, very bad right now. And then realistically, it's just three five-man Assault Intercessors and a Captain. So if you like the new Assault Intercessor models, this is an obvious choice for you. But it definitely feels lazy. I hate to see 
more than two of something in a box set ever, and this has three assault squads. I think it definitely still has a purpose in everything. If you're looking to spam a bunch of assault squads, if you're doing like a Shrike army, Raven Guard force, or something along those lines. But I gotta say, this one looks like a miss for me. And the Space Marines definitely got shafted. All right, and then we see the Onslaught Swarm for the Tyranids. Bury your foes in a relentless tide of claws with the Onslaught Swarm. One of the most terrifying assemblages of Tyranid monstrosities ever stuffed into a box. A massive Norn Emissary joins up with a Winged Hive Tyrant, which can also be built as a ground-bound Hive Tyrant or Swarm Lord, to lead a tide of 20 leaping Scything Hormigants and 10 Revening Gene Stealers with a pair of Ripper Swarms to boot. So very cool. They don't mention it, but you actually have the option on both of the Norns here. So you can build the Emissary and the Assimilator. And then the Hive Tyrant has three different ways you can build them. The Flyer, the regular Foot Tyrant, or of course the unique character Swarm Lord. And then we've got two 10 packs of Hormigants and a 10 pack of Gene Stillers. So really nice. And again, not too much redundancy with like all of the Leviathan stuff or the starter set stuff. Really nice box right here. Now a quick message from today's sponsor. CMO Games has been selling Games Workshop products online for over 20 years. They carry the full line of Games Workshop products, including Warhammer 40,000, Age of Sigmar, Necromunda, Blood Bowl, Paint Tools, and more. Almost all Games Workshop products are priced at 15% off MSRP. CMO Games takes pre-orders for most Games Workshop products released at their earliest date possible. 12.01 a.m. on Saturday, they go live. Most of these pre-order products are also priced at 15% off MSRP. CMO Games offer free shipping in the U.S. 48 with an order of $50 or more. Their customer service is top-notch and they ship most orders within 24 hours. Visit CMOGames.com using the affiliate link in the description and let them know that you heard about CMO Games from Warhammer Man. Now, back to the video. Alright, and then last but not least, we have the Exalted of the Red Angel. So this is a World Eaters box. The Red Gabo will soon be packing up his Squig Slay to fly across the sky, bringing presents to all. And what better gift could you ask for than the Mountain of Skulls and Eviscerating Corpses? Angron, Demon Primarch of Corn, is getting into the spirit of things by packing up his most devoted warriors, 10 Corn Berserkers and 6 Exalted 8 Bound, who can alternatively be built as 8 Bound, or a worldwide stampede of blood soaked mayhem. Don't forget to leave out the milk and biscuits. So, nice box here. We see a Primarch leading the charge, 2 packs of the 8 Bound, which are great, and then 10 more Corn Berserkers. And again, looks like a really nice box set right here. You could pair it with the Combat Patrol, etc. These boxes overall are total success. I think the only one that's a miss, and it's a pretty big miss, is definitely the Space Marines. Make sure to hang up an extra large stocking this year so the Red Gobbo knows just how many of these incredible boxes to stuff down your chimney. They are a great way to add more units for your existing force and make for quality gifts for Warhammer fan in your life will never forget. All six of these box sets are going up for pre-order soon, alongside a whole bunch more Warhammer Age of Sigmar. So get ready for another Warhammer Christmas bonanza. Alright, so if we take it all the way back up here and just do a little quick recap. The Space Marines are definitely the big losers right here. Um, this is absolutely terrible. So it's just a bunch of the Assault Troopers and then two units that we don't really want, led by a Jump Captain. So it is nice because these are new, but there's not a lot of Space Marine forces that would ever take more than 10 of them. And it's just way too much redundancy inside this box. And we also notice that we see two very powerful squads with the Exalted 8 Bound and a Demon Primarch of Corn in one box. Then we see for the Votan, two of their like Terminator equivalent units that are very good. And then we see a Sagatar Transport and Land Fortress Tank. Again, some really key, really nice pieces. And then with the Nids, we see no redundancy from any of the previous Leviathan box set or anything like that. We get the big Norn piece, a Hive Tyrant, so two big pieces, and a bunch of Gaunts. And then with the Orcs, we get the unique character on Squig, and then also the massive Kill Rig, and another squad of Squig Riders, as well as some other Beast Snaggas. So again, multiple big key pieces. And then for the Astra Militarum, we get two of their best and newest tanks, the Rogal Dorns, and a bunch of other bodies. But the Space Marines, the Space Marines, don't even get one big piece at all. Yeah, they definitely got the shaft on this one. It feels like their box is by far the worst. And now we'll go through and look at the value on these boxes in another video, break them down individually. We'll look at them compared to the Combat Patrol, and then we'll look at if you wanted to pick up multiples of one or another, what kind of army you could build, how many points it would come out to, what I would add to expand those forces. We did a lot of like focused videos on these boxes because they're so awesome and so good for the hobby. So make sure to stay tuned for those videos coming down the line. Also, let me know what you think of these boxes. I want to know which one you think is the best and which one you think is the worst. Do you agree with me or am I completely off? Always like to hear back from you guys in the comments. Special thanks to CMO Games for sponsoring the video. Check them out to save 15% on Games Workshop products. Link in the description. That's it for today. 
Warhammer Man Studios. I'm Warhammer Man, and I love me some Christmas box sets, and I'm out of here.